What's up, my folks? I hope everyone is doing good. I hear little monsters. Uh, two of them puppies is ready. To, that is going to. You guys got to come get them now. They're starting to get scrappy with each other. These are a little hotter than what. Uh, this is about a 60 40, 62 25 40, or whatever they call it. 62 50 40, 37 50, whatever that breeding statistically wise. But they, I know one thing it sped them up. They got a lot of little spunk in them. These are going to be some hot ass little puppies. Um, they need to go. Or they start hurting each other. That big red and white right there with the toy that, that no one fucks with, that's the one I'm keeping, so I ain't too worried about mine. <laughs> but y'all better come get yours. <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, I got a, a few things. Uh, oh, and besides the way they're bred, yeah, they're 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 a turtle buster, you know, dynamite niggering across. cross. Um, that's what them are. If you don't have notice the program around here, but uh. I got a, I'm gonna do a little news here. Uh, there's some older dogs in Tennessee. A friend of mine has some very, very well-bred dogs. He's in a pickle. He's got to get a, he's got to sell a couple. Um, his loss is your gain. Is I guarantee you. Put you in on that. Uh, that uh, these are very well-bred dogs, and the prices that he's asking is cheaper than what a lot of people sell puppies for. I mean. Um, I've had, I've had for six months, I've had people asking me about older dogs, older dogs, well, here's your chance. And these are fucking well-bred animals. Um, any dog man would be proud to own them, but, um, he's in Tennessee. So you guys in that area up there, you can hit me up as in as the way to contact me is my email It's in the description box. So just email me and within a few days, I'll probably email you back. But, um, so that's, that's something that, that just kind of popped up. I was going to let you guys know uh because i know i told people i uh, you know it'd be a year before i have anything i really wanted to probably sell but um i am doing a breeding uh, my associate and i are, are making a plan breeding and it's going to be a uh we're going to go back 25 years there's some frozen semen he has and it's directly off of don q so the puppy's grandsire would be don q on the top and buster on the bottom you guys that are serious about that kind of blood um this is something that will let one go out to the fraternity to kind of pay for the breeding. Um, and I'm also looking for a tank. If you need, you guys got a, a, a used tank that you would sell. Um, you know, I don't care if it's beat up a little bit or whatever, as long as it holds nitrogen good and, it, and it's a good quality. I mean, it still works fine. I, I'd be willing to buy it from you or rent it, you know, whatever you want to do. We need to rent one at least. But um, that's a hell of a breeding. It's going to go back 25 years in these dogs and take it that much closer um and I, I it's maybe the last one around i don't know but uh might be the only chance you get it something like that um and it'll be you know we're not going to go stupid with it i'm not going to go double bread with on the bottom or nothing i'm going to keep a, a little bit out so these are still high quality dogs but uh um it's it's real close you're going to get the well turtle buster will be in the i believe the fourth on the dogs so that just tells you right there it'll be you know we're going back that far most of these dogs don't have turtle buster until you get in the sixth seventh and eighth generation and that's if they got it close you know what i mean and uh but uh anyway that's going to be available one and it's not going to be no you know you got to understand this is a one probably a once in a lifetime opportunity to get something like that so and we are selling it to do the breeding so anyhow uh I want to tell you guys, Babichos is back. It's back. I'm hearing I'm hearing reports of it coming up, popping up everywhere, all the way from Florida to fucking uh, Illinois, uh, Iowa, places even as far away as that. So it's not just stuck in the South anymore. Um, you guys be careful with that shit. If your dogs are just all of a sudden falling poor and looking anemic, if you've been hunted lately and he may have gotten in contact with a dog in the woods or anything, um, you may, maybe want to get him checked if you can't figure out what's going on. And especially if they start dropping dead on you, that's a good chance you might have it. It's it's coming uh, it's, it's coming back pretty strong from what I understand. Um, I pray I never get that shit again. I've already had my fight with it. It scares the hell out of me and it terrifies me. But um, I do pray for it too. I pray that never comes on the yard. But uh, and as far as the, the pictures I put up, I had a couple people on inter emails when I went through. Uh, um, so I guess some of them older pictures on on those hogs that I put up there. I'm about Corey. That's uh, 
you know, you can't you can't all take credit for the catch dog. You know what I mean? The catch dog can't take all the credit on those hunts. It's a team. It's the man and the in the bay dogs as well. You know, it's uh, he's got world class dogs all the way around, not just his catch dogs. You know what I mean? As far as does he use just my dogs? No, he's got a few other dogs. He's a, uh, you know, we we're we're pretty tight, and uh, you know, he'll show me a pedigree if he wants to look at another puppy or whatever. Like he just got a nice little Nigarino Dynamite dog. Um, that I was, I was like, hell yeah, get that one up. It might be nice. Um, he's got some dogs from up there at Walkmaw and all them guys, you know. So he's got some different dogs, but he knows I throw him the heat. He knows I, I throw him the fire. I ain't going to I'm doing that super performance shit with him. But, um, you know, like the like them last pictures I just put up, one uh, a dog from Carolina, I think it was a probably a meddling aunt dog, but uh, it uh, it turned into a bay dog. You know what I mean? It, it, them hogs down there are bad. And people were asking about kill, you know, saying we ought to have all kinds of uh, meat in the freezer. Them guys don't kill them hogs, man. That's a sport. This is a sport for them hogs. They, uh, you know, you kill all your big boars and you're going to have meat hogs and then everybody's going to be going in there hunting it. He hunts in places no one else will hunt because the boars are so bad. They'll get their dogs killed. There's, like I said, there's different levels. A lot of people just want to go out and catch meat hogs. You don't want to kill your trophies. They'll nut them some bitches and let them go. Every one of them pictures live hogs. Um, like I say, it's more of a sport. I mean, they, unless the landowner insists and kill them, you know, but I don't even shoot them. When I'm in the woods or in that delta, if I'm I'm walking around hunting, you know, in there, if I see a boar hog in there, a nice boar, I won't shoot him. I'll leave him be. Um, I don't want to try to eat him anyway, you know. But, no, it's a sport. It's not a, a – it's more of – it's not a – you know to kill them really well not where he's at there is places that they must uh damn yellow fly uh they must kill them you know and they will but not not on their private private hunting lands you know they'll they'll send the numbers out on them younger ones but they'll leave them trophies in there that's your that's your fun that's your excitement you know that's what everybody wants to catch one of them they're just lucky some bitches they catch them all the time <laughs> but they manage it you know what i mean just like they don't care about a deer. They manage them hogs like we would do with the deer. They they put uh, minerals out for them, wormer blocks out for them, goat wormer out for them, feed. You know they're they're taking care of. But they just rough as hell. Them hogs know what's up. They're they're dog killers. Like I ain't bullshitting. But um, like I said, they turn a, they'll turn a bulldog that ain't ready into a cur dog real quick. But and anyhow, um, you know, and, and and people were asking me about it. I tried to do it. I tried to do it. I put an ad on uh on Peds Online one year. I put an ad on that game dog thing one year, inviting people, anybody that wanted to come, because they were talking about, oh, it ain't, it ain't this shit, it ain't shit. We had an airboat line. I had a whole team ready to take people for $500 for the weekend, camp spot and everything. Um, as many hog, no trophy fee, and we we're going to hunt the hell out of it. And uh, But you know how many people came? One. And he did not have a good time when he seen how rough it is. Because it's rough on men, too, now. That ain't no cakewalk. You don't just let your dog go and hope for the best, you know. A motherfucker be two miles deep, you'll never get him back. You got to have them bay dogs locate him, and then you got to walk in there with your dog until you can get in there, and then you let him go. The last thing you want to do is let your dog go on. You don't know what you're catching. You don't know the situation it is. None of that. So you might let a dog go, and there's a fucking uh, whole bunch of badass hogs with ass to ass and spinning in circles. You know what I mean? You One dog ain't got a chance, you know? But um, anyway, guys, uh, I hope y'all are having a great day. But I did want to say that uh, you guys that have these pups, y'all need to come get them because they're getting pretty, they're getting pretty rask, nasty with each other. Um, I try to keep as many toys to them as I can and keep them fat as possible. But uh, my little man over there, he knows this is his pen, and he's getting tired of roommates. I'm just telling you, y'all take care and y'all keep on bulldogging.